Hi, welcome to the GG Retrofits Rocket Street R3 body kit assembly video with the version 2 bracket. So at first we're going to start off by connecting the headlight harness. And you basically you want to put it in between the forks so each end comes out on both sides. Then go ahead and plug that in. Now after we connected the headlight harness, we're going to go ahead and put on the lower portion of the bracket. So go ahead and just fit this around the neck of the frame. And what we want to do is place the two headlight harness wires over the top of the lower portion of the bracket. Then we're going to grab the top portion and connect it to the neck of the frame and put it in place. Then we're going to put the two M8 bolts and nuts on and secure it in place and just hand tight this for now. So now we're going to mount the headlight ring to the front of the bracket and basically we're going to use four M6 bolt and nuts. So go ahead and start with the top one first for ease of assembly. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten these all down, uh, nice and secure, uh, don't over tighten. Now that we have those four bolts secure, we're going to go ahead and take off the face ring to mount the headlight. So go ahead and use a Phillips screwdriver to take these three screws out. Now we're going to place our headlight on. So go ahead and pull the cable through and put the headlight on. Then we're going to go ahead and grab that face ring we just took off and secure the headlight in place with the three screws. And also I would start with the top one just for ease of assembly. Now we're going to connect the harness plug to the headlight and go ahead and just fit that nice and snug behind it. Now that we have the headlight and the outer ring connected to the bracket, we're going to go ahead and tighten the mounting bolts for the bracket and just nice and secure, don't over tighten. Now we're going to go ahead and put the windshield support bracket on. And go ahead and use the two bolts to secure it in place. Now that we have that secure, we're going to put the front fairing on 
And we're gonna connect this to the bracket. Uh, underneath the headlight, there's a Underneath the headlight, we're going to go ahead and attach a M6 bolt to the lower bracket. Now that we attached the front of the fairing to the lower bracket, we're going to go ahead and put the windshield on. So basically you have six plastic screws. The two back ones can screw into the windshield support bracket and the front four, we're going to go ahead and use a nut to secure those in place. Now we're going to mount the speedometer. So go ahead and pull the speedo plug underneath and behind it. And you could pull the boot back to plug it in nice and firmly, then pull the boot back over it to seal it. Then we're going to mount this to the bracket using two M6 bolts to secure it in place. So go ahead and tighten this till it's nice and secure. Don't over tighten. Now that we have the front fairing assembled, we're gonna go ahead and attach the side fairing. So we're gonna insert the two M5 rubber well nuts. Then you'll notice on the left side back area, we're gonna fit that into place on the fixed nut or bolt that's already on there. And go ahead and put the nut on to secure it in place. And we're gonna go ahead and use an M6 Allen to attach this top inner portion. And we're gonna go ahead and tighten the M5 Allens on the side here. Now that we got all the bolts in, we're going to go ahead and tighten them all up. Now we're going to go ahead and do the right side now. So go ahead and insert the two M5 rubber well nuts here as well. Then we're going to put on the side fairing now. So 
So on the right side, we actually use a M6 bolt to attach to the frame on the back of the side fairing. And go ahead and tighten up the two M5 bolts. Now that we got both the left and right side fairing attached, we're gonna go ahead and put the lower cowling on. So we're gonna insert uh, M5 rubber well nuts on both sides. And go ahead and use the three M5 Allens and attach this in place. And go ahead and keep it snug for now until we do the opposite side, we can tighten everything. Then we have one M6 bolt and washer. We're gonna attach to the frame here. Now we're gonna do the same to the right side. So we have the three M5 Allens to connect the cowling to the side fairing and one M6 bolt and washer to connect the cowling to the frame. Now we're gonna go ahead and go back to the opposite side and tighten up all these bolts now. Now we're gonna go ahead and take these five grommets out of the stock tank cover and reuse these on our custom tank cover. So now that we took all those grommets off the stock tank cover, we're gonna go ahead and insert all the rubber fittings into our custom tank cover. So first put the rubber fitting in, then go ahead and insert the metal. Now that we have all the stock grommets from the tank cover transferred over to our new custom one, we're gonna go ahead and put this on the bike and approach it from the back side. Then we're gonna go ahead and use the bolts we saved from the stock tank cover and mount this in place. Once we have all four of the back bolts in place, we're gonna go ahead and put the Allen on the front center. And then we'll go back and tighten all these bolts. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the tail cowl on. So go ahead and just fit this about 75% of the way on and make sure it covers the tail light and under cowl. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our seat on. And basically we need to fit the tail cowl in between the seat. So that's why we gave that extra 25% leniency there. So we'll go ahead and fit that in place. Then we're gonna use the two seat bolts to mount it. So you might need to slide the tail cowl back a little bit so you can go ahead and put those two bolts on.
Now that we have the seat mounted, we're gonna go ahead and use the M6 Allens on both sides of the tail cowl. So those holes should line up if you push it forward and fit it nicely in place. Now that we have the two Allens securing the left and right side of the tail cowl, we have two Phillips screws that we're gonna go ahead and mount the top side of the tail cowl. And there you go, now we've completed assembling all the bodywork. So now we're gonna go back and adjust all of our hand controls to make sure there's enough clearance between the handlebars and the front fairing and tank. So basically you can just turn the bars left and right and go ahead and measure the clearance on one side and reflect that to the opposite side so they're nice and even. Now we have a harness, wiring harness cover. We're gonna go ahead and put on the side here. This is available on Gigi's website. If you want to further have that nice sleek look. So basically there's just one Allen bolt and three zip ties we're gonna use to attach this wiring harness cover. And I recommend putting the zip ties on nice and snug so you could still spin it around so it's nice and flush and doesn't scratch you. Then just get your set of pliers and come back and clip off all the excess tie and go ahead and spin it so it's nice and flush. <laughs> GG Retro Fits. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>